our father. You gave us a father who has been a strength, a mentor. He has been everything. Indeed, he has pointed us not to himself, but he pointed us to you. He has taught us the ways of the Lord. He has taught us the word. We have known you. We have known how to believe. We have known how, we have known how to look on you, depend on you, trust you. We have known how to pray. We have known how to just, just know you, you know. Thank you, Lord, for your grace is sufficient. Even as we encounter this sad season, we are not mourning because we know he's sleeping and we know we will see him again. We are encouraging ourselves in you, Father. We thank you and we bless you. Where we are weak, indeed, your strength is made manifest. In Jesus' name. So encourage yourselves in the Lord. Let us encourage ourselves in the Lord. God is good and he's good all the time. And even now, as hard as it is, he's still good and he's still God. We may not understand, but God is good. God is good. Bishop has been amazing, an amazing trailblazer, an example, an example that we will continue to emulate. And right now, we just continue to encourage our mother, our mother that has been such an example, especially to we women, to us women, such an example. She's giving us an amazing example that we can emulate, you know, an example of strength. May, may the grace of God just be with our mom and we speak the comfort of God to be with our mom, to be with Vanessa, to be with Shiko, to be with Jeremy. Courage, we encourage them. Comfort, the peace of God that surpasses the understanding of man. May it guard their heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for strength. Thank you for grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We celebrate greatness. We celebrate a general. We celebrate a father. We celebrate a trailblazer. Your legacy lives on, our father. Your legacy lives on, our bishop. Thank you, Lord. I'm so proud to be your daughter. I'm so proud to be your daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Let us encourage ourselves in the Lord. Let us continue to just encourage ourselves in the Lord. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good even now. God is good. Hata sasa yeye ni mwema. Tunapolia yeye ni mwema. Tunapocheka yeye ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Tunapolia yeye ni mwema. Tunapocheka yeye ni mwema. Even as we mourn, he is still God and he's still good. And as our mom says right now, we encourage ourselves in the Lord and we look up to Jesus because that's where our strength and our hope comes from. Our bishop pointed us to Christ. Our bishop pointed us to Christ. We look to him the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tunapolia yeye ni mwema. Tunapocheka yeye ni mwema. Tunapovuna yeye ni mwema. Tunapopanda yeye ni mwema. He is a good God all the time. Father, we thank you. I know the Bible says in the book of uh, Philippians 4, 7, that uh, and the peace of God that surpasses the understanding of men shall guard our hearts and our mind. And uh, during this season, the peace of God will guard us, will keep us during this trying moment. And I know that lives on in our hearts. We will carry his legacy to fulfill what he had, uh, he had begun. I thank God that we had an opportunity and the time we spend with dad will make sure his vision, because all the time that we spend with dad, he will share the vision 
and uh, we have caught the vision. We are going to carry on that vision to make sure we fulfill the legacy of our dad and the vision dad has. I know the grace is available. The mantle is with us. And I know by the grace of God, we can do this. To our mom, we are going to stand with you. We will support you. We, we pledge to be with you and support you. In this moment, we are your children. We, you are our mother, and we are going to stand with you. So we know God is with us even during this season. And uh, his peace will reign in us. Our God is a faithful God. He's a wonderful father. He is a wonderful God. Well, we, we just want to really honor this great man of God. Uh, even as we recall the great works that he did, um, I know that he has made an impact on the earth. He has made an impact in my life personally. There are a number of times that I attended JCC and uh, um, I, I'm grateful for even the two encounters, you know, where he even spoke to me. And so I know that it looks like a loss, but to be very honest, it's, this, is, this is more than we can even talk about. It's incomprehensible because the Lord has planted a seed. And this man of God, Bishop Kuna, he has left a legacy that none of us here can defy, none of us here can deny, because a, he has planted a mighty seed, and we know that he is unforgettable. So this is not a loss. Heaven has gained, but earth has also gained because of the fulfillment of his mandate. Mm. Because, you know, yesterday when we were at the service, yeah. talking about a 57-year-old man, mm who has done so much. In fact, there's a bishop who actually said mm. he, he's done more than a 100-year-old has done. I'm telling you. Mm. So, Pastor Raffin, I know that we're here to celebrate a great, great man of God. And looking at Pastor Kathy, looking yeah. at Reverend Kathy, yeah. you can see that this is a woman that God has called because of all the experiences that mm. they've had together which are so tangible because we were witnessing those yeah. experiences. I, I don't know what you think, but I feel like mm. there, is, there is something that the Lord, it's like uh, uh, olives that are being crushed. Mm. You know, when uh, olives are crushed, the oil begins mm. to, 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 to be released. So when there is a crushing, mm. there is also a release of glory. And for me, what I see and what I would like to encourage the body of Christ is that there is a release. Mm. There is a release of as we celebrate. Yeah. Uh, we ought to carry the memories. The uh, pictures you are watching on the screen right now is the body of our father and our bishop. Uh, you know they already left, uh, leave funeral home. They are on their way to where they celebrate. It's just a few, uh, you know, young fellows uh, oh, that have come up some few days ago yeah. that don't really know uh, this man. The impact. And then also the seed of honor is going to be happening. We are continuing to receive high-profile guests, uh, you know, both from spiritual, uh, from the, uh, you know, from the church. Yeah. Given us the opportunity to be here. The Bible says... Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Yeah. When you are in such a place, that's when you begin to reflect on such a word. Yeah. That the Lord wants us to learn how to number our days. Yeah. We have to be people who are conscious of what is happening in the time and the hour. And we have so many other people that are just coming in right now. Yeah. We have so many other people that are coming in right now. We want you to make your way here. Please don't miss this because you thought it was private. Yeah. This is open to the entire public. Please make your way, come forth, and celebrate the life of a general in the kingdom. Church, continue to say that prayer for Reverend Kathy, for Vanessa, for Jeremy, for Stephanie, and the grandchildren. Yeah. Even as you sit to wait for the program to start, just mention them in your prayers. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you.
very hands on and and you know those messages that he preached you know you're going to become great you know you have great destinies you have an assignment in life uh, 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 will always be remembered yeah. and um, he was such a great 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 father Absolutely. yeah yeah and also about the he bishop was like an open book yes there is nothing that you know that was that was probably as secretive yes. it was like an open book yeah. everything that he had or even 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 his properties and even at home or in the office he let us into it as a, as a spiritual sons and daughters and we are really really grateful to god and his humility was remarkable wow. Dad was a man who was extremely humble. Yes. He knew how to step down. He knew how to go down and pick the, those who were, you know, were just laying low. And his humility was remarkable. And we really want to thank God for his life. It's absolutely.